असलम स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर केमिस्ट्री सिलेबस अकॉर्डिंग टू अकॉर्डिंग टू डैट आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज थर्मोडाइनमिक्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी दिस द बेसिस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इन यूर फर्स्ट ईयर केमिस्ट्री बाय द नेम ऑफ थर्मो केमिस्ट्री अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिलेबस द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज द इंट्रोडक्शन टू थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिफाइन डिफरेंट टर्म्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द थर्मोडाइनमिक्स the first term is the the first term is the thermodynamics thermo means heat and the dynamic means flow so this is it is defined as the study of the, the it is defined as a study of the changes of energy which defines state changes of the energy which are carried out during the physical physical and the chemical reactions next term is the system any real or imaginary part of the universe under study is called the system next is the surrounding all the remaining part of the universe is called surrounding boundary any real or imaginary surface separating the universe from the surrounding is called the boundary i will explain this these three terms by this diagram consider this flask is a system the this, uh, gas enclosed in this uh, flask will act as a system all uh, such uh, all the universe surrounding this flask is known as the surrounding and this boundary glass boundary the, it the this glass surface which is separating the system from the surrounding is called the boundary next term is the state the property temperature pressure volume by which a system can be defined or explained is called the state states are two types initial state and the final state the start of the reaction is always known as the initial state and the end of the reaction when the reaction will stop that is known as the final state and generally we put one for the initial state and two for the final state state function it is a macroscopic property macro means large macroscopic property of the system which has definite value for initial and the final states and it is independent of the path followed it means this property depends only on the initial and the final state of the system we will we do not bother about the path some reactions start at the start of the reaction there are some some type of reactions which uh, which are fast during at the start of the time and will slow down at the end of the time so we are not concerned with this path we will take the reading of initial state and the final state so this type of functions are known as the state functions we will generally represent the state function by the capital letter volume capital v temperature capital t enthalpy capital h internal energy capital e pressure capital p we will put the capital letters to express these state functions next is the path function it is opposite to the state function as we said the state function depends on the initial and the final state of the initial and the final state of the system but path function do not depend upon the initial or the final state of the system it depends on the path followed it depends on the path followed it is the represented by the small letter for example work small w e small q next is the internal energy 
it is the sum of all the energies of all the particles the term particle we use for atom ions and molecules within a system internal energy is generally of two types kinetic energy and the potential energy kinetic energy includes translational vibrational and rotational motion translational means straight line motion vibrational means to and fro motion such type of motion just vibrate and the rotational means which are moving in the circular form that is known as the rotational motion potential energy includes intramolecular and the intermolecular forces such as covalent bonds and the van der waal forces these are type of forces covalent bond these are pure bonds and these are the van der waal forces these are the forces which are present in the intermolecular forces it is the state function that is internal energy depends on the initial and the final system daily indicate the change in internal energy to cal- to find out the chain we always subtract initial state from the final state so e2 is the final state and e1 is the initial state next is the enthalpy total heat content of the system is called enthalpy it is represented by capital h and mathematically it can be defined Uh, it is the sum of the internal energy and the pressure volume work h is equal to e plus pv it is a state function and its unit is joule next is the internal energy change change we put delta this delta indicate the change so the amount of the heat absorbed or absorbed at constant volume please note the point that amount of heat absorbed or absorbed at constant volume that is known as the internal energy change so qv is equal to del e similarly enthalpy change del h the amount of heat absorbed or absorbed at constant pressure is called enthalpy change qp is equal to del h the letter which is put as the as the subscript it indicates constant pressure q at constant pressure similarly q at constant volume this is the peak of full chat full page next is the next is up nature next topic is the nature of heat and work heat and work both are the when a change in state occurs energy is transferred into or out of system in the form of heat or work it means it is a general practice when a system system works either heat is involved or work is shown so heat and work are the form of energy firstly we will discuss the work the product of force and distance is called work w is equal to f into d in the thermodynamics the study of work is the work done in expansion or compression expansion means phailna compression means ghatna of a gas this is known as the pressure volume work so always remember we will study only the pressure volume work in thermodynamics this is explained by this explanation consider a gas enclosed in a cylinder 
This is the gas enclosed in the cylinder. The weightless and frictionless piston is over it. It is exerting pressure over the gas. Pressure is indicated by P. So when the gas will expand, the piston will move up. So volume will change from V1 to V2. Piston will cover the distance DL. This is cover the distance DL. So distance is shown as P F is equal to, that the pressure on the piston is equal to P. Total force acting on the piston F is equal to P A. As P is equal to F by pressure is equal to force per unit area. Force can be P into A. If piston moves up through the small distance DL, then you can write W is equal to P A into DL. This one, this DL. And the product of A into DL is always equal to dV. This is the volume. Area into distance is called the volume. D indicates the small change. W is equal to P into dV. A into DL is equal to dV. So, W is equal to P into dV. Where dV is the small increase in volume. Integrate between the limits v1 and v2 this this sign this sign is known as the sign of integration so this is the initial volume always put the final volume above the sign of integration and below it you will put the initial volume p dv and also remember that we take the integration of the variables so dv is the variable p pressure is the constant so we will bring it out w is equal to p integration with the lim limits v1 and v2 into dv w is equal to p the integration of dv it is, is equal to v Put the sign of limits. These are, these are known as the limit sign. V2 and V1. Always put the limits at the right hand side. So W is equal to P. First put the value of final state. Then subtract it from the initial state. P V2 minus V1. P is equal to P del V. So this P del V <coughs> is known as pressure volume work w is positive work is done on the system w is negative work is done by the system units of work w is equal to p del v 